I don't stop when I'm tired, I stop when I'm done. From the time you take your first breath, you become eligible to die. You also become eligible to find your greatness and become the one warrior. Greatness pulls mediocrity into the mud. Get out there and get after it. The worst thing that can happen to a man is to become civilized. Mental toughness is a lifestyle. If you choose to do something, attack it. Never let people who choose the path of the least resistance steer you away from your chosen path of most resistance. The only thing more contagious than a respectful attitude is bad. It's possible to transcend anything that doesn't kill you. Pain unlocks a secret doorway in the mind, one that leads to both peak performance and beautiful silence. Seeds burst from the inside out in a self-destructive ritual of new life. Nobody cares what you did yesterday. What have you done today to better yourself? Only you can master your mind, which is what it takes to live a bold life filled with accomplishments most people consider beyond their capability. Be more than motivated, be more than driven, become literally obsessed to the point where people think you're bloody nuts. Tell yourself the truth, that you've wasted enough time, and that you have other dreams that will take courage to realize, so you don't die a bloody pussy. Denial is the ultimate comfort zone. You are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. We're either getting better or we're getting worse. Don't focus on what you think you deserve. Take aim at what you will earn. You want to be uncommon amongst uncommon people. Period. Build calluses on your brain, just like how you build calluses on your hands. Callous your mind through pain and suffering. If you're willing to suffer, and I mean to suffer, your brain and body, once connected, can do anything. We all need small sparks, minor accomplishments in our lives to fuel the big ones. Because it's the small sparks, which start small fires, that eventually build enough heat to burn the whole bloody forest down. A warrior is a guy that goes, I'm here again today. I'll be here again tomorrow and the next day. It's a person who puts no limit on what's possible. Everybody comes to a point in their life when they want to quit. But it's what you do at that moment that determines who you are. It hurts, but that's all it does. The toughest part of the training is training your mind. You build calluses on your feet to endure the road. You build calluses on your mind to endure the pain. There's only one way to do that. Get out of there and run. When you think you are done, you're only 40% into what your body is capable of doing. That's just the limits that we put on ourselves. Failure is an option. It's what you do with the failure that makes you who you are. Our failures mold us. I have failed at several things in my life. What sets some of us apart is that when we fail, we can't sleep at night. It haunts us until we have our time at redemption. I don't stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. If you can see yourself doing something, you can do it. If you can't see yourself doing it, usually you can't achieve it. Don't stop when you are tired. Stop when you are done. I'm different from most people. When I cross the finish line of a big race, I see people are ecstatic, but I'm thinking about what I'm going to do tomorrow. It's as if my journey is everlasting and there is no finish line.